So with everything going on right now, there are a lot of events and especially a lot of launch events being pushed back or changed. OnePlus, Huawei have changed their events. But with the launch of the Redmi K30 series, according to Liu Weibing, who's the boss of Redmi and Xiaomi in China, said there are no problems with the launch of the Redmi K30 Pro, but more importantly, no problems with production either. So the sales date is not gonna be pushed back. This is actually really good news and important news because in China right now, there are a lot of products that have recently been launched, but are still unavailable to buy and haven't gone on sale because they just can't produce enough units. Products that have already had their launch events online are being pushed back by anywhere from two weeks to even a month. Products like the Black Shark 3 Pro version, the Nubia Red Magic 5G, and also even the Oppo Find X2 Pro version have all had their sales dates pushed back but the K30 Pro apparently is facing no issues. And some more news on a possible Redmi smartwatch or maybe a Redmi fitness band. We've seen Xiaomi produce a load of different fitness bands and now producing more fully fledged smartwatches. Xiaomi have a squared off version and a round version, both with slightly different specs, but actually Xiaomi are one of the biggest players in the wearable space right now. They actually challenge Apple in terms of market share and units shipped, even though those units are going to be at a cheaper price. They definitely have a foothold in the market and they sell a ton of units. So it was only a matter of time before Redmi gave us a Redmi fitness band or a Redmi watch. According to the league, there's a very good chance that Redmi will launch the fitness band along with the K30 Pro and even some more products at that launch event too. As for right now, there are no specs regarding the watch, but expect those Xiaomi products to be rebranded and slightly different proposition, maybe even cheaper to come from Redmi. And there are more rumors about the next flagship phone from Xiaomi, the new Xiaomi Mix phone. The Mix series has always been a slightly more experimental series of phones from Xiaomi, putting in some experimental components, a really flagship product with a high price, at least a high price for Xiaomi, bringing in some new technology that may be coming into smartphones more generally in the future. The Mi Mix Alpha was a great example of this, really that strategy on steroids for Xiaomi, creating a crazy prototype product. Whereas the next Mix phone would be actually a more normal type of phone that actually would come to market and be available as a flagship product. A new leak anyway suggests that this phone could offer us a triple header of 100s from Xiaomi. What I mean by this is that three key specs in the smartphone will actually go above 100. So for example, a 120 Hertz display, 100 times camera zoom, and possibly 100 watt fast charging. This would be an absolute dream for Xiaomi to market the product having three main specs over 100. But in fact, it's not as crazy as it seems. We already have 120 Hertz refresh rate screens coming into mainstream phones. We already have 100 times zoom on the Galaxy S20 Ultra. So that will be coming to more phones too. And 100 watt charging is in existence. It does exist, it has been achieved. Now it's just a matter of being able to get that technology cheap enough and safe enough and reliable enough to put it into a product that we can buy. Xiaomi are definitely working on this. So are Oppo and all the BBK brands. And there's lots of rumors suggesting that these brands are trying to push this to market as soon as possible. There is one more technology that is definitely being worked on too, which is the underscreen camera. And Xiaomi may be swapping out maybe the 100X zoom for a 100% screen to body ratio if they did use an underscreen camera. There will be way more leaks on this product because Xiaomi definitely are working on something. They wanna get it out to us towards the tail end of the year. We'll have to see if it does or doesn't get watered down a little bit by the time it goes on sale. Subscribe for all the latest tech news and videos. That's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.